Hi, Brig and Jameson here with Seedhawk. Today I'm just going to run through the quick uh, static calibration using our system. Um, for this, of course, you'll need a pail and you can take your uh, iPad to your cart. Um, to get started, you want to go down to the bottom and then on the bottom it'll say calibrate right here. You're going to want to open that. At any time you're doing this process, you won't be able to go to the next page until whatever is completed on the page you are on. So for a static calibration, you got to select it, begin. In here, you're going to want an empty. You're going to want to uh, measure your bucket weight. So with your bucket weight, you're going to enter whatever your bucket weight is, say two pounds. You're going to have to click the check mark to save that. And then you're going to want to go and select what bin you're in. Bin one. And you can do all the meters, or of course you can do just uh, one meter. So let's just do one meter there. And we'll go next. Everything's complete on this page. Allows you to go to the next. So in here, you're going to want to select what roller type you have in bin one. Um, bin one, we'll say we have a mid-displacement roller. And now we can go next. Next, you're going to want to prime the meter. So make sure your bucket's under your meter. And you're going to want to perform the primes. So you're going to have to hit it. It's going to prime the meter, dump and grain. Once primed, you're going to want to take your bucket, of course, empty it, and then replace your bucket underneath and go next. Now in here, it's going to tell you the recommended rotations we need, completed rotations that we have done, as well as your speed. So your speed you're going to want to set to about 50% uh, or so is a good accurate way of doing it. You don't want to have it full speed or low speed just for more accuracy. And then to turn on, you just want to push on this and lock. Your motors are rotating. And as you can see on the right hand side, completed rotations. At any time you want to stop it, you can, but you won't, it won't be able to save anything until this screen is green. So once you hit the recommended rotations, you'll notice that it turns to green. That means you're complete. Um, you can go further if you want, but that is enough to do. You can hit stop by turning on motors again, touch that. Grab your bucket, of course. You're going to want to weigh your bucket. Put in your uh, measured weight now with bucket. And this will do all the math for you. Check mark, I'm just estimating of six pounds now we have in the bucket. We can go to next. Now it's going to spit out our cal number. And then we can put a profile in for what we want. So whatever we want, we just did. We have peas, or oats, inoculant, dry fertilizer, canola, barley. You can select on those. And you can either hit add a new one, or you can put what variety of canola is. By just add new, you type in that. And you can go back at any time. Products. Or you can just get out of here and hit uh, apply. And this will give you a quick explanation of everything that you did. Bin one, what roller you did your bucket, the total weight with your bucket, revolutions recommended, how many you did, and apply. At any time you want to apply it, apply. If not, you can hit done, and it kicks you back out to the start of it. So that's how you do a static calibration in your icon display.